What's up, everybody? Three days until Christmas, and I went with the twisted beard today. Hell yeah, because I'm going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to upload this video with another video that's very important for you guys that have Phantom 3 batteries, any any type of LiPo batteries, batteries, really. In fact, I make the videos with not only the Phantom 3 LiPo battery, but also a few toy and hobby drone batteries, so be sure you go over and check that out. But if you own a Phantom 3 battery, make sure that you read through this entire manual right here, because this will save the lifespan of your LiPo battery tremendously. There's way too many beginner drone operators that don't treat their LiPo batteries how they need to be treated. And if you just treat them how they need to be treated, and if you just make a habit out of certain things, then your LiPo batteries are going to last you a long time. And these smart batteries right here that cost over $100, well, I know where to get them for like 70 bucks, but shh. But some of these batteries cost, you know, almost $200, like the Inspire 2 batteries or the Inspire 1 batteries or the Phantom 4 batteries and things like that that cost like 170 bucks and shit. So believe me, you don't want your battery to run out in a short period of time just because you're not treating it correctly. You want to get your money's worth out of these batteries, right? And go go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, go to my videos, and go check that that out, because these things are sensitive little angels. Uh, they're more sensitive than a liberal social justice warrior. I'll stop rambling now. I will. So we are heading to Island Park. Every holiday, every Christmas time, uh, Winfield, the town that's like 12 minutes away from us, uh, they have a park that's like surrounded by a river. It goes all the way around it. It's called Island Park. And they put a lot of Christmas lights and stuff on it. It looks pretty cool. And I've never flown the drone over it. I've, I I actually had a chance last year and I never did. So we're going to go pick up the kids there with their grandma at the movies, which just got out. We're going to go pick them up at the theaters. And then uh, we're going to head to Winfield. The kids and stuff are going to go through the park and, and see the lights up close. And I'm going to fly the drone autonomously yeah, with waypoints on the lychee around Island Park. So it's going to be pretty cool. That's a big wreath. Isn't it? Yeah. Dad! Look at this. Yep. Season's greetings. They didn't have all this over here last time, so I didn't set up the waypoints for over here. I just set them for the island. I forgot about the big reef. Oh well, I'll get that at, at the end. ticked off right now because I was flying and I think I was on like my fifth or sixth waypoint when suddenly my whole drone just disconnected from lychee the transmitter disconnected from the drone the red light on the drone came on and I thought I lost it lost all connection with it and everything I was trying to do the manual return to home using the transmitter it wasn't working oh, for like a few minutes I was scared out of my dang mind and then I put it up and tried to fly it again using the Go app. And I don't know when it dropped out video, but it dropped out video at some point. So I didn't get half the video that I thought I was getting. 
it is just maddening. It was. I'm kind of just just let down. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Love the footage that I got. I don't know what footage I got yet as of right now, but you guys will see it. If you tap the middle of the screen, it'll focus on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is it a hand balloon gun? Oh, like the mask when it grabs out one of those balloons and builds a tummy gun? Tommy yeah. gun? Oh, yeah. That's pretty funny. Did you guys see some Daddy. cool lights? What were, your, what were your favorite lights? Daddy, look. Where was this? Where was That's, that's enough of that. Your okay, favorite tool. That's where the parts with like the um, God stuff. Like the baby Jesus and the manger scene and everything? That, then they have a, they have a, this <coughs> thing with the boys like praying. Yeah. And then it has um, uh, I like the motion ones. The ones that look like they're moving. Like, isn't there a penguin that jumps around or something? Or there's a tigger that jumps up and down? It's pretty cool, huh? I didn't see those this year. You didn't see Tigger? You're gonna have one. Don't keep looking straight at the light. <laughs> I'm really eager to plug the drone in and see what footage I got off of her. God. Not a good sign. Well, it didn't even shoot in the setting that I set it up to shoot in. I'm so mad. I hate it worse than anything when I travel somewhere. Well, I didn't, it's not too far, it's only 12 minutes, but I hate driving somewhere out of my way only to uh, <clears throat> not get the shot. Like I'm going back. And I'm gonna have more time to do it. I gotta get my batteries recharged and stuff. But it just, I'm just irritated now. That's it, you know? Here is the original waypoint that I set up. Like, there's a lot of waypoints. Probably my biggest one. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy. It got to, let's see, it started. Started right there. There's a number two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it got all the way to nine. And then it completely shut down. And I was standing right there in the parking lot, in this parking lot. Right where 69 is, that's where I was standing. And I was hitting the uh, manually control the manual transmitter returned to home action and it came from about 18, 19 or 20, I don't remember, from right over on this side and it started flying back. And so then I manually flew from one to about 32 
uh, about 66, 37, you know, all through the middle there. And then over here to like 55. And then they just started cutting out on me constantly, returned back to home on me like three or four times. I kept trying to send it out. I got the bridge right there that was all lit up. Uh, and then I came back here and I decided I was going to try to warm it up some more. And I flew it around and started doing some stuff. And then there's a big uh, reef right there at the very beginning. So I drew, flew my drone way out to here. You know, probably center of the page right there is probably about how far I flew it. And focused down on the wreath to film it. And literally, that's that's only like 50 feet away, 60 feet away. And it kept cutting out and dropping voltage and all that different stuff. That's the waypoints it was supposed to do. Sorry that I didn't get that whole thing. That's why I say it's, it's kind of depressing that I didn't get it. Because 69... Uh points i mean that's that's more than i've ever done before and then while i'm in here i'm going to show you guys the next one that i'm going to do and i don't know when i'm going to do this that the weather just kind of has to be perfect and the light has to be perfect because this is something that i really badly have been wanting to do i've got to go set up on this road right here because the place is a ghost town but it's actually owned by uh a few hundred indian tribes on this land and I've asked them for permission to be on it, and they said that it was okay, but I can't get any of them to meet me down there to, to allow me on there. So I'm going to take their permission and go ahead and fly over it, but there's a, a gate blocking off the LA entrance, so I can't get in there by myself. So I'm just going to go to that dirt road there, and I'm going to fly down into this little ghost town called Shalako. And I've got all these cool waypoints set up. That is, I mean, it's just going to be badass. There's this uh, point number two right there you can see. It's like an extremely haunted building. And I've been told by a lot of people that there's they've seen ghosts and things in there. When we were when we were younger and in high school and cruising the back roads and drinking and stuff, we used to sneak back in here in Shalako. There's a back way that hardly anybody knows about. We used to come down here and have a blast. And I've actually been in that building several times. I've never seen a ghost, but a lot of other people have. There's all sorts of cool stuff around here. This got turned into a rehab facility for a while, and then it was like an Indian school. I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to show you guys. So stay, stay tuned. Uh, I'm probably not going to show the Isle of Lights again on the vlog. If I do do the vlog, I'll probably just show you guys me kind of flying it and stuff. I wish I would have had the video camera on me today because I was like freaking out. Like I was like kicking shit around and like my buddy came up and pulled up and we started BSing and stuff because I, I was so mad. Uh, but this one for sure I'm gonna make into its own video because I'm gonna fly this route like three or four times to get the best footage And I'm gonna turn it into a VR Video as well so people can watch it with a VR headset and see it in 3d. This one's gonna be badass so if you guys are fans of uh, Explore is it called explore with Josh or something like that that guy's pretty cool he goes to abandoned drug dealer houses and caves and ghost houses and things like that you all should tell him about shalako have him go through this place this place is really cool